what's up and good afternoon guys welcome back to another video <clears throat> finally got some time off and uh we are out at a new campsite tonight and uh it's gonna be a fun one so stick around and we'll be right back right after this What's up and good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video. Today this video goes out to a viewer named Jay McLean. He said in his comments that he uh, watched my video that was posted over nine months ago about the Martin Top 75 liter backpack. Want to know how it held up? Well Jay this goes out to you. All right so we have the Martin Top 75 liter backpack on. As you can see, it has held up absolutely beautifully. Now, one downside to this, and it's not really so much a downside, I guess. Um, the weight straps here on the shoulders. Um, I had the same issue that Luke from the Outdoor Gear Review had. The load straps up here, um, after quite a bit of walking distance, they tend to wear themselves loose. Um, now it's not bad in in like a really bad aspect or anything, because most of your weight really is on um, the waist part of the waist belt, so that's not really a, a real big issue. Other than the pack will start like kind of like sliding backwards a little bit. Um, other than that, the load straps that kind of keep it close to your shoulders where you kind of want all your weight is you want it like up over you and centered on your waist so that's really the only drawback that i've had with it just from packing it in and and using it and packing it out and stuff like that so um it's not really a, a really big deal really um it's just the clamps they use back here are plastic and these plastic um uh, straps the holders here on the on the pack they don't hold just real well now if they'd have been metal and had like a metal teeth serrations that hold the the straps tight I don't think that would have been an issue um, but that's really the only like real downside that I've had to it other than that the pack is just outperformed done everything I wanted totally flawless um, as you can see no rips no tears no nothing now I do have a couple of items that are missing out of this right now um, right now I've got the the hammock the under quilt and my uh, blanket that's all inside the uh, tent right now which is not in the pack now that will add a little bit extra weight to this. Totally packed out the way that I've got it. It currently stands uh, roughly 35, 40 ish pounds. Um, now, I tend to carry a lot of extra gear, probably gear that not a lot of other people would carry. Um, I've got my hammock, my under quilt, my, um, my military wool blanket. I've got saws, one in either pocket over here, a small like folding saw, and then I've got a bigger folding saw that comes in the, the two side pockets here. I also carry um, a big giant water bottle on one side, and um, I've got uh, camera gear in here, I've got batteries, I've got my knife up here, I've got a knife in the backpack, flashlights, rope, uh, two tarps one for putting on the ground and then one for setting up on um, so what I can do is if you give me a minute I'll go over to the table here we'll open up the pack and I'll show you exactly what's in it there you go Jay this is for you all right now as you can see have a knife mounted right here to 
the uh, shoulder strap right here so it's quick easy access if I need it you got a zipper pocket up on top you got the nice little shoulder straps now here's what I was talking about before let me turn the camera here and uh, okay so these right here are your load bearing straps and these load bearing straps over time they they pull loose as you can see so um that's really the only drawback that i've had with it again if these had these uh strap holders here had been metal i don't think that would be an issue it's just these plastic ones they don't they don't bite into the cloth to hold it so you get a lot of uh the pack where the pack will like separate and lean back from the the, the shoulder harness here so that's seriously the only issue i've had with it um this thing has seen some total abuse um let me show you something here real quick lean it down a little bit more here so you can kind of see what i'm getting at here let me move the tripod back a little bit all right so got a little fraying going on um there's some strings coming loose here there's a little string that's released over here on the side um other than that i think it's just because it's super good quality um this thing has been through a lot and i do mean a lot like this thing has been thrown inside my truck it's been thrown in the bed of the truck it's been slid around it's been hung from trees it's been dragged on the ground it's been pitched on the ground it's been pitched on a table uh so it's seen a lot of abuse all right let me go back to normal here all right so this this pack has seen an absolute amount of abuse so Should be good right there. I hope. Hopefully, that'll cover everything I want to cover. All right. Let me let me move that out of the way. Let me move my cup of tea out of the way. All right. So, starting with the um, the lid section up here at the top. Okay. So I've got my beanie has the orange on the inside camo on the outside water purification with the life straw extra battery a buff some soap my um, candle lantern A Yuko candle lantern. There. And this comes with three candles, which I've used one of already. Some zip ties. And then my bench made bug out. That's all that's in there. All right. So all that goes back in there. All right. So, I forgot to tell you also, if you're looking at the shoulder straps right here, the uh, centerpiece right there, it's, um, it is movable so this here is made for either a small torso a medium-sized torso or a large torso so you can move this shoulder strap harness up or down depending on your torso length and size which makes it really nice all you do is just unvelcro it here slide it back through the the uh, the loops and then re-velcro it okay now as you can see, I've got 
my two trekking poles, one on either side. Now this is a supposed internal frame backpack. Now I will say this, it is very flimsy for it being an internal frame. Um, it's kind of a rubbery, plasticky, bendy, like, see I can take and like, <laughs> this thing, it just gives like crazy. So, uh, being that it's internal frame like that, it is it is what it is. Alright, so, you got the zipper pocket here that you undo, and then that raises open the top lid, which allows you to stuff everything through the top up here. Spin it around here real quick. All right, so the top lid comes open, and then you got two big, large front compartments here. And on the front here, I've got my cooksa. Undo that. Get this up out of the way. So I got my little wood cooksa here. Goes on the front, and apparently I didn't get it cleaned out good, and I got a lot of sugar in the bottom, so that's got to be cleaned. Okay, so. In here, I've got wet wipes, extra set of gloves, headlamp, a flashlight, my spices, and that's all that's in that compartment there. Okay, bottom compartment right here. This has another extra flashlight that I use as a lantern. I took a soap bottle and duct taped it to the flashlight and now I've got like a little lamp that I can hang from a tree or whatever so that makes it kind of nice and down in here I've got some uh, hand sanitizer some more wet wipes some string fire kit my spork Bandana, sewing kit, extra duct tape, Q-tips, salt and pepper, and then a knife that my brother made me, along with some deep bug spray. So all that goes back down in there. So, all right, so that's those two compartments. Let's lay this up on the table. Now in here, you got a mesh pocket with a bunch of molly, and then in here I've got a flint and steel, I've got my stove, a uh, another little flint striker, uh, some spoon, knife, and fork, and then in the main compartment, got to have your 550 cord. Just never leave home without it I always use this as my my ridge line and then of course my knife a tarp my bag of food my propane bottles for my stove A shemag, a cover for my hammock, stakes, and more paracord in here for tarps, tents, and what have you. And then the bag for my sleeping pad. 
So that's everything that's in there. much it everything I've got there you go that's the morning top 75 liter backpack so my review is this it's a definite win a buy for sure as long as you don't mind messing with the um, the load bearing straps kind of coming loose on you from if you're going to be doing any kind of long distance hiking with it just be aware that that's going to happen like i said i had the same issue that luke did from outdoor gear review um his load straps did the same thing now i wasn't aware of this i bought it because of another youtuber that i watch uh, lone wolf 902 um he recommended it in one of his videos so i watched his video and that's why I bought it. So, that being said, that's pretty much everything I carry. Uh, forgot my trail cam for getting game and stuff. And then on this side over here, our channel sponsor, Hydrocell. Hydrocell USA water bottles, one of our channel sponsors. Um, get yourself a water bottle, go out to Hydrocell USA on Amazon and get you a water bottle. It's about 20 bucks. Um, they support the channel by giving us a chance to get a water bottle a little bit cheaper. So, um, like I said, they're only about 20 bucks. So at least this one is, this in here is the, uh, the, <coughs> the 24 ounce. Uh, they have a 16, an 8, a 12 a 24, a 32, a 64, and a 128 liter, uh, sorry, a, a 1 liter, a 2 liter, and uh, <coughs> I don't remember what else, but anyway, Hydrocell, one of our channel sponsors, uh, get yourself a water bottle, like I said the 24 ounce ones right now are, are 20 bucks, so go out and get you one, um, be sure to um support our channel sponsor and get you one also uh, another one of our channel sponsors Civivian we knives they have a deal set up for us so we can get 10 percent off of our purchases um if you go to Civivia or we knives website get yourself a knife um get 10 percent off by using the code rfo10 that's rfo 10 at checkout get you 10% off and support our channel sponsors because they're supporting us all right Jay there you go hope that helps um, I love this pack I will continue to use this pack so far this has been the best pack that I've had that's held up um, all the abuse that it's taken and it's just it's been a phenomenal pack can't complain about it like I said this thing's been drug it's been tossed it's been drug across the ground hung from trees it's been tossed in the back of the truck and rolled around and so yeah hope that helps like I said it's just only a couple of strings that's come loose on it here on the back side on the, the hip strap I got a little thread there and then somewhere over here, where was it? It was down low over here. Yeah, there it is, right there on the, the molly strap. I got a little thread coming loose over here. But I've now had this pack almost a year. And with all the abuse that it's taken, I'm surprised this is all that's wrong with it. So, anyway, hope that helps you. Go out and get you this pack. It's well worth the money. Like I said, if you just be aware that the load bearing straps, you'll have to like mess around with those. But other than that, 
this pack has been absolutely phenomenal. Okay, everybody, there you go. That's the review for the 75 liter Martin Top backpack. Now, this thing does have, um, well, it doesn't, but you can go out and purchase two extra uh, pouches to go on the side of it that goes to the Molly. Um, they're, I think, like 16 or $18, something like that. So don't quote me on that. I could be wrong, but they go the full length of the pocket. So, um, the only thing I have down in the side pockets right now is two folding saws and I think I've got a those zip ties. Yeah, there's a bag of zip ties here too. I forgot about. So, anyway, after a year of use and all the stuff that I've done with this backpack, that's all that's wrong with it. It's just a couple of threads coming off of it and then the load bearing straps not holding really well. Other than that, excellent, excellent, excellent backpack. I recommend it. Um, now if you wanted to, you could probably cut the straps off and then add your own like little metal, uh, buckle strap things to it or whatever, and that might would fix it. Um, I don't want to go through that process of doing so. I just fidget with the, the load bearing straps to help. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I've been Red Fox of Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye guys.